let's talk about that much anticipated interview tomorrow in Savannah. Vice President Harris will sit for her first interview since becoming the Democratic nominee. She will be joined for at least part of it by her running mate, Governor Tim Walz. Here's what the vice president told reporters back on August 8th before heading to Arizona for a campaign rally. I've talked to my team. I want us to get an interview scheduled before the end of the month. And Republicans have accused Harris of hiding from the press. And while the VP does often speak to reporters on Air Force Two, many of those interactions are off the record. So let's bring in News Nation's Joe Khalil live for us at the White House. Joe, we know a lot of people will be watching. What can we expect tomorrow night? Well, we can expect, I think the key word you already said it is anticipation. There's a major amount of anticipation for this interview, not just Kamala Harris, but her running mate, Tim Walls, sitting down doing this one-on-two -on -two interview in prime time tomorrow night. The reason there is so much anticipation around this moment is frankly because the campaign allowed that anticipation to build up by waiting so long to actually do one of these. There had been calls from a, a number of uh, voters from certainly the other side and the media as well. And this narrative sort of set in. So here we are now. It's going to be 39 days tomorrow that Joe Biden officially dropped out and Kamala Harris and Tim Walls will be sitting down with CNN's Dana Bash. I remember she was also one of the two moderators in that last debate between Joe Biden and Donald Trump that ultimately led to Kamala Harris being at the top of the ticket. Now, obviously, we don't know all of the topics that are being discussed, but there are some pretty obvious questions that we expect are going to be asked. And one is about the policy shifting that Kamala Harris has done between now and 2020. A number of important things like banning fracking, which today she says she no longer supports. Back in 2020, she did. She has moved away from supporting a Medicare for all style health care program. She's also shifted her stance on border security. So you imagine all those things are going to be asked. There's also probably going to be some question, if not multiple, about Joe Biden's health and fitness, given that those were the concerns after the debate that he had that, again, ultimately led to uh, his stepping down and Kamala Harris taking the reins. So it would seem reasonable that there may be some questions about that. Now, the campaign has not outright said uh, any of this, but there's a lot of speculation among Democrats. Certainly, I've heard this from Democrats, that the reason the Harris campaign has been so calculated about planning this first interview is that there are some concerns, maybe, that in the past, in these kinds of settings, Kamala Harris has said things or answered questions in ways that may not always be clear, that maybe come off as insincere and then often make headlines for the wrong reasons. Again, the campaign not saying that, but that is certainly some speculation as to why they have been so meticulous about setting this up. So anyway, we are here now, tomorrow night, prime time. It is not live. It'll be taped earlier in the day. Uh, but when it does air around 9 p.m. Eastern time, uh, you can imagine a lot of eyeballs there, Nicole. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and there's also reasons that, you know, we saw this surge in the polls for her. So there was uh, also, you know, some thought, why would she give an interview if, if she's seeing this boost? When was the last yeah. time the vice president did an interview with a major news outlet? Yeah, and I'm glad you pointed that out because they've got a lot of charisma. The polling is do, is going very well for them. So there is also this sense that why would you do anything to risk that or mess that up? Uh, the last actual interview that she did with a major news outlet was actually on the night of the debate after Joe Biden and, and Donald Trump had that debate. And um, ironically, she got really good marks for her tone, for her tenor. Uh, she tried to defend the president and the administration while also not denying the fact that it was obviously a really bad night uh, for Joe Biden. Uh, she, again, got some, some acclaim for that interview. So, you know, whether that is the kind of appearance that she uh, gives tomorrow night, uh, we're going to find out. All right, Joe Khalil, live for us in D.C. Joe, thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.